If you guys are looking for a new game to check out before GTA 6 gets here, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. So many of you guys yesterday probably got the notification that Rockstar Games had uploaded a new video to YouTube and initially when I first saw that I was like, all right, maybe they're surprise dropping trailer number two on us. Maybe they're going to show us something new for GTA 6. Well, it turns out that this was just to show off the new drag races in GTA Online. It was a 15 to 16 second trailer, and we should probably be prepared for stuff like this. There might be a handful of other Grand Theft Auto Online trailers that come out before we get the next Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. Now, I hope that is not the case, but given how Rockstar handled the second trailers for GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, it took closer to 10, 11 months, even closing in on nearly a year before that second trailer ended up arriving. So there's a good chance there could be more, you know, trailers like drag races and other new content in GTA Online before Grand Theft Auto 6 gets here. But the first trailer, again, as we have talked about in previous videos, is having a substantial climb in views. Again, currently sitting in second place of all time for video games behind Subway Surfers, which has 361 million. Grand Theft Auto 6, obviously having 171 million. Clash of Clans, 170. Minecraft, 160. Angry Birds Rio, 121 million. Grand Theft Auto 5, 108 million. Team Fortress 2, 84 million. Battlefield 1, 72 million. Fortnite, 64 million. And Pokemon Go, 48 million views. So I don't know when we're going to be hearing from Rockstar next, but the next time we do hear from Rockstar, it might not necessarily be about GTA 6. So just keep that in mind. We all need to be patient here. But one thing we can do while the wait for Grand Theft Auto 6 is on, and this is sort of a cool way to not only get yourself hyped, and also prepared for the next coming of the game, is checking this out. So we all know about the definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. In fact, we'll actually talk about that in a little bit, but there's actually a team of modders that are creating a next generation version of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And this is probably the best looking and best way to return to Vice City until the actual game GTA 6 arrives. So you guys are obviously looking at some of the footage right now. This is the very first trailer that was posted. It's done by a team called Revolution Team on YouTube. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And they've posted a new update. It's a mission using the new Rage engine. And I'll actually show you guys some footage of that right now so you can see what it's like. And when this is released, it will be the best way to experience Vice City until GTA 6 arrives. Now, hopefully Rockstar Games does not like strike this down. There's a good chance they will, though, because A, Rockstar believes they already have a definitive version of GTA Vice City, which we'll talk about in a second. But I am guarantee you they also don't want people to get confused and say that is GTA 6. So hopefully this project stays up. But knowing Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive, there's a good chance that it will be 
taken down. Now again, speaking of the Trilogy Definitive Edition, you guys might remember that those three titles, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, you're actually able to play those on Netflix as a part of their new sort of mobile gaming system. Well, to no surprise, Grand Theft Auto is the most successful Netflix game. So the GTA Trilogy has just surpassed 18 million downloads on mobile in just one month, according to a new report from Netflix, as they sent out their quarterly letter to investors on Tuesday, and they were thrilled to report the GTA Remaster's success. In fact, the streaming service revealed that Grand Theft Auto became their most successful launch to date in terms of installs and engagement, and that this led to some consumers clearly signing up to play these games. Now, it has been a minute since I have played any of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. The last time I played them, they were extremely broken, but I have heard good things that Rockstar, when they put this out on Netflix, actually did a relatively good job of fixing a lot of the bugs and issues that were just making the game simply unplayable or like this doesn't feel like Rockstar Games level of quality. So they're clearly seeing a success here and you can arguably say that the Grand Theft Auto 6 hype is just simply skyrocketing everything that has to do with Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive. And I'm not the only one that feels this. Even people that aren't even interested in video games themselves, but simply the business of video games are super excited about this. This is an article that came out the other day on Seeking Alpha. It says, Take-Two Interactive, Grand Theft Auto 6 hype, is unprecedented. And obviously the anticipation for the release of GTA 6 has contributed to the company's recent upsurge and unprecedented hype, and Take-Two's financial performance remains strong with consistent revenue growth and a diverse portfolio, but there are risks associated with the success of GTA 6. And we talked about that the other day, that Take-Two Interactive stock price was the highest it's been in over a year. So the hype is out there all the way around, we're seeing that from people that just care about playing games, and we're seeing that from people who really just care about making money, whether it be in games or something else all the way around. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in those comments down below what you think of all the information we discussed from Rockstar's new trailer, not being trailer number two for GTA 6, the best way to experience Vice City until GTA 6 arrives, and a whole lot more. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. And of course, if you want to send messages, pictures, videos, and a whole lot more, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page as well. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.